Welcome back to Living It Away. If you haven't been to the Honolulu Museum Art uh, of Art recently, you really need to check them out. And you could also go on a regular basis because they are constantly bringing in something new and some shows, and it's a real blessing for everyone in Hawaii, and you should check them out. Joining us now with an update on the latest happenings, Sean O'Hara and Hannah Kraft. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Appreciate you guys Thanks being for here. Having us. Yeah. So a lot of people think, oh, you just, you know, you walk around, you're looking at paintings, some old statues. But that is not the case. There are a lot of really cool things. And in fact, so cool that you guys get in and do things, and we'll get to that in just a minute. But just tell me what, what all is going on at the, the museum. Well, you know, the museum is the most fun place yeah. ever, right? You can see art, you can see video, you can see performances, uh, there's music, there are movies, um, you can take classes, you can make things even. So it's like, it's like everything you could possibly imagine in one place. Um, multicultural, it's got you know, international art, it's got art from everywhere, no one's left out. You don't even have to know how to read. You're passionate you just, about this stuff, aren't you? It's fantastic, yeah. Movies, you said movies. What kind movies. of movies do you guys play? Well, we've got uh, art films, uh, international films, we have uh, uh, classic films, we had a big Kurosawa festival, so we have like, you know, uh, samurai films, I mean, you name it, there's so many films to... You guys have brought an example here of some of the things that you can do and you can learn in class. What are we doing today? What are, what are you doing? <laughs> or what, You're are, or do what it are we too. doing? Today I'm, I'm really excited. I'm kind of thinking I should have brought an doing? apron. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. you'll be fine. I'm really excited to show you guys how to do paper marbling. It's super fun and easy, okay. and you can use the finished product to make all sorts of art projects. Um, so what we're going to do here is use these brushes mm -hmm. and dab some ink on the surface of the water here. Just right in the water. Right in the water. I'll do the first one, and then I'll let you guys take over. Okay. Dab, dab, dab. Oh, this is way cool. Yeah. It's already kind of looking neat. Do you see my high-tech mm -hmm. mixing tool over there, that red piece of wire? Uh-huh. This high-tech thing yes, right here? Yes, exactly. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to do a little more. What okay. other color do we need? While you're doing that, I'm going to let you choose the color. While you're doing that, let me ask, uh, because there's also things for kids, cake. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me absolutely. about that. Well, uh, we have every third uh, Friday, we have a, f a third Sunday rather, we have free uh, Bank of Hawaii Family Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, people can come in. Um, uh, there are activities. Uh, this um, um, January, uh, the 21st, we have uh, Whirls and Swirls, which is a Bollywood themed oh. uh, Family Sunday. So the kids can come and do that. Uh, we have uh, a big mural project for grades 7 through 12 up at Spalding House, which is in Makiki Heights. Uh, they're going to be doing a mural uh, project where we're going to do a time-lapse uh, footage of the mural, so they'll have that uh, online as well. Um, and, uh, of course, we have uh, um, kids' classes as well. Um, and this is an example. Hannah's one of our teachers. Yay. And yeah. so, okay, I see this going. This is, this is pretty cool. Okay, it's Addy. soaking it up. Yes, it so is. So I bet you you always wanted to do this. I, I that's right. And so you cool, might be right. right. Yeah. Well, I mean, because I, I never thought it would be that easy, but it seems pretty easy to do. So super easy. Yeah. You want to give it a whirl? Let, okay. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. Super. Tell, while while I'm trying this. Um, so you're gonna pick up these brushes and just dab it in the water there. Okay. I want I want you to tell me what you guys currently have going on over there. So right now we have uh, a big show called Abstract Expressionism, mm -hmm. and it features. Uh, some of the most famous artists that you've ever heard of, like uh, Jackson Pollock and Mark Rothko and William the Kooning. Uh, but what it also shows is artists from Hawaii and the West Coast and from Japan, uh, people like Satoru Abe, uh, who's a local hero, mm -hmm. uh, Harry Sujidana, who's another uh, great local artist. And it shows the influences that all of these artists had on each other. And no one really talks about that. It's a kind of a secret history as it were. There are so many things going on over there and we have so many more things to talk about but we want to go ahead and put that on our website as I'm going to go ahead and just lay this in yeah, here. Yeah, just lay it in there like that. We are. Thank you guys so much for, for being here with us and um, if you want to find out more about the Honolulu Museum of Art and all of its goings-ons at, uh, at, at the museum and all the things that are coming up in 2018, check out our website, check out your website and that is? www.honolulumuseum.org um, thank you.
Thank you very I much. I appreciate it because it's, I know you. you guys also have lunch there too. So it's like <laughs> and maybe we'll hang your artwork next to the Jackson Pollock. <laughs> Mine turned out pretty good. It's gorgeous. It was. Good we'll, work. we'll see it what was. Mikey and Lauren think here, but we're going to throw it on over to them for our 808 tech check. Thanks, Thanks John. John. Thank you. Dude, how fun. I know. I want to do that. Me too. Okay. We got the better one. <laughs> All right, guys, the literate earner, we asked what.